So I wanted to do a quick video today on um, a personal survival kit. Now, this has been done before on my channel, and of course there's lots of videos out there with personal survival kits. I just changed mine recently to something a little bit different. Before I was using a 777 gear uh, pouch, and if you link back to my videos, if you go back to my videos, you'll see that. What I've gone to is now a, a belt carried kit. The other kit was something that would slip into a BDU pocket or go into a pack. And what I was, I think why I went to this is because I'm more likely to carry this because it goes on my belt. Um, and I also think it carries just a little bit more stuff than the other kit did. Um, so I'm changing it to this and I'm going to be trying this out. And I wore this today on my belt coming out to the woods and it worked great. But what I keep in this thing is really backups to what's already in my backpack. So if I'm out and I ditch my backpack at my base camp and then I go out hiking and I'm looking for wood or whatever and something happens, um, I still have this kit with me. It's always with me. Um, it's not back in my pack. And I'm more likely to carry this than um, something that goes in my BDU pocket because what I'm, what I'm finding is I'm loading my BDU pockets down and then it's weighing my pants down. And if I put this on a good sturdy belt, it it's not doesn't affect it that way. So um, real quick, what I got in here is a... Um, I have my Silva, or a Sunto, excuse me, Sunto wrist compass, an Openel uh, carbon knife, and that's going to serve a dual purpose here in a minute, I'm going to show you. Butane lighter that has been um, zip tied to prevent the from going off in the pack and losing all the gas. There's a container of cotton balls with petroleum jelly. So that's a fire starter. There's a reflective armband. So that can, you know, I can put that on my person and that now that gives me a way of, uh, for people seeing me in the dark. And also I can put it on my pack or my gear and that way I can see my gear in the dark. Of course, there's Gorilla Tape, and that's been put around a credit card, old credit card. This is a military issue magnesium bar with a fair seam rod built into it. And the reason why I carry the Open L and why I want high carbon is that I can actually use it as a striker. Plus, it's a very sharp and very easily sharpened blade. So it's a great all-purpose knife. And it's lightweight since the wood, it has just a, this, uh, I think it's beech wood. These beech wood handles are very lightweight. So it doesn't take up a lot of room, doesn't weigh down the um, kit. But it gives me a great blade. The other thing I carry is a, a little Fresnel lens or magnifying lens for starting a fire. Um, and also these whirl bags. Uh, the whirl bags are, they stand up and you can fill them with water and then put in a um, uh, water purification tablet in it and treat water. So it gives you a means of holding and containing water um, without carrying a canteen. In the front of this pouch, there is water, purif water purification tablets. These are the uh, Ketodyne uh, MicroPure tablets. They work great. I've used them before. And then here, in this front pouch, I have my signal panel, which you've seen a video, you guys have seen videos that I've done on that before. 
that uh, folds out and then can be hung in a tree or placed on the ground for aerial view, but it's uh, of course bright orange on one side and then camouflage on the other. A signal tool, this is my signal mirror. This is a comp by a company called SAR Tools. He is a custom knife maker, this is his design. It's very lightweight, but it does have a sighting mirror to it, and it does have a reflective sticker right there. So a couple ways of signaling. That is a strobe marker. And it's got Velcro on the back, and that actually attaches to the signal panel. Also gonna attach to my pack, since my pack has a Velcro panel on it for um, identification. And then last but not least, a quality whistle. And this is a, the Topps whistle that comes with uh, some of their knives. And uh, one thing I did forget to mention is that I do have a, uh, a through night TI3 flashlight. This is a single AAA. It is um, very bright light for its size. And having a flashlight in the woods is a great peace of mind. Um, if it gets dark out, you can definitely find your way back onto a trail with this. It's, it's bright enough to do that. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time. Um, if you like this video, please uh, hit the like button, uh, share it if you want, and also subscribe. Um, if you can think of ideas that you want to uh, have me do some videos on, please send me a message and I will respond. Always looking for great ideas. Um, and we will see you next time on The Prepared Wanderer. Thank you.